What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. I want to uh, kind of go back over what we talked about yesterday, some of the new information. <clears throat> Primarily, uh, this part right here, um, people were asking, when is the DLC going to be released? They said spring of 2020. They asked, if I don't have the season pass, can I get the new DLC? Only way to get part one will only be available through the season pass. So in order, only way to play episode one, get that, you have to buy the season pass. That's a little bit awkward, but I, I understand from a business aspect why they're doing it because they want people to purchase the season pass. Um, but I know some people aren't going to like that because, you know, it's, it's one of those things where if you see, you're going to be able to see it. You know, if you haven't got the season pass, you'll be able to see episode one. And you can make the determination if that's what you want to get or not, you know. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait. Uh, it says, or to be purchased along along with A New Power Awakens Part 2, releasing later this year. So, you need to get Episode 1 whenever the season pass. With the season pass, that's the only way to get it right now. Or, once Episode 2 comes out, uh, you'll be able to buy those two together. Guys, Part 2. Part 2, we can already guesstimate speculate strongly that we're going to exceed super saiyan god and go to super saiyan blue and i guarantee you we will be fighting golden frieza people may say well frieza golden frieza isn't in the data mines the reason why is because before the game was released they were already working on part one that's why that stuff is in the game if this was an online game based like destiny 2 or something then you would probably be able to find that information in there um, that's my speculation. Now, what I want to discuss more or less is let's go back to the pictures. Cause I was, I was looking through the pictures <clears throat> and there's some interesting things to note here, particularly on this screen here. Uh, and that is the sacred water. Like I said, if you look through Dragon Ball Lord Goku, whenever he was in Korin's tower, he was going to train with Korin. And they had the sacred water there. It's still present right now in Dragon. If you go to Corrin's Tower, that little bottle of water thing is still sitting there. Sacred water was to increase your stats. In previous Dragon Ball games, that's exactly what it did as well. As well as in Buu's Fury, which I really don't like bringing up Buu's Fury, but whatever. I believe that it's either going to be some form of a stat boost or an XP boost. Because Whis's training, they advertise it as gaining tons of XP. And the reason I don't think it'll be a stat boost is because um, I I just there, there is not really many like eating already boost your stats. You get what I'm saying? So I believe it's going to be more of an XP boost is going to be a way for you to gain a ton of experience. But we'll just have to wait and see. Now, one thing that I couldn't figure out is this right here. This phrase right here. Let me slide this screen over so you can see it all the way. That right there. I couldn't figure out this. What it basically says is like active surge. And this isn't going to be in the main game. I, I don't know why they have this in there. It has to be like a developer kind of thing. They just didn't take it out. Because you can kind of look at the way it looks, even the writing right here. It's not polished. That doesn't look very polished, but I digress. Anyway, active surge. This says variation one. Singular equals percent D times. So this means singular. One time, plural, uh, percentage. That stands for plural equals percent D times. Times. See, that says times. That says time. That says times. And then zero equals zero times. And... I guess basically what this saying is that's kind of like the code for it. Um, and it goes the same way for engage in an enemy wave clash. Both of these are basically saying, in my opinion, what I think that these are just saying, these are just codes, just saying that uh, you can activate surge one time, multiple times or zero times. Like, I don't know why it's right there, uh, but it, it looks like game code. It looks like code. I mean, it's just saying that, you know, the game will tell if you activate it once more than once or um if you don't activate it at all and i know people may say well why is that not there i don't know but these two activate some form of a cutscene in the game surge activates a cutscene 
uh, also uh, enemy clashes do as well. They they so the game can register that. That's just my opinion. That's the way that I look at that. But I, I was looking at that, and that's, I just figured that out. But um, people are saying another big question is. We'll be able to play through the story again because Weiss's training starts out at level five. That's not necessarily the case, guys. One thing you have to understand about Weiss's training is they even tell you here. Um, if we scroll down right here, uh, it says here, this content can be accessed anytime during the player's game experience. And will allow them to use their newly acquired Super Saiyan God transformation during the main storyline. What that is saying is, guys, I could just buy this game, put it into the system, and if I have that DLC, I will be able to do Weiss's training regardless if I have played through the story or not. So what they're saying is when you look at this and you see it at level five, that doesn't mean that they're going to make us start the story over or anything like that. What it means is that... It's going to start at level five across the board. It's not going to scale to your level. It's just like when you go into Banyu's training, for example. If I don't start Banyu's training until I'm level 250, guess what? The beginner level for Banyu's training is level 40. It's going to be that regardless. So you could say the same thing about that, right? Wrong. It doesn't work that way. It's level five because it's set up to where even if you started the game anew, you're still going to be able to do this training or take part in it. Now, the question is, how high is this going to go? Because you have beginner, you have intermediate, and then, of course, we know advanced is going to be there. Now, in Bond use training, beginner was level 40, intermediate was level 75, and advanced was level 100. I don't know what Weiss's is going to go up to. I personally believe that it's going to be uh, something past advanced level, maybe expert or God. That's that's what I believe. Now, what will be interesting is if it's only beginner, intermediate and advanced and advanced. But looking at the scaling from five to twenty five, it would have to make uh, what is it? From 40 to 75 for Weiss's, I mean, for Banyu's training, it went from 40 to 75. I think it was 75. That's a 35 point jump. And then it jumped up an extra 25 points after that. So, given at least a 25 point jump, this went a 20 point jump. So, even 25 would put it at 50. It would have to jump 75 points to get to 100. Even with that being said, guys, if that is the case and it only goes to advance, I don't know, man. That doesn't seem very good. Uh, we don't know what the training entails, what you'll actually be doing. Um, it says versus Weiss. So I would imagine more than likely you're doing this training, but you're fighting against Weiss. I don't think we'll be fighting against anybody else in Weiss's training because it's Weiss who's training us. It's Weiss's training. You get what I'm saying? So if it does like Bon Yu, Bandai Namco, and it goes up to level 100, People are going to breeze through this and people are going to be upset because you have people in the game, including myself, who's well over one level 100. A lot of people are even at level 250. And on top of that, if you raise the level cap beyond level 250 and the max that Weiss's training will go up to is level 100, people are going to be livid including myself, because you're only, you're basically going to be able to one-shot your opponent. So there's not going to be a chance to do a 30 or more hit combo. You're not going to be able to activate Surge because you're not going to be able to do enough damage to activate Surge because you're going to one-shot your opponent. The energy wave, yeah, you could get away with that. You see what I'm saying, Bandai Namco? If people are higher level playing these missions, these things, they're not going to be able to perform these challenges. I'm, like I said, if I'm level right now, if I went into this and this was set at level 25, I would not be able to do a 30 hit combo because I'm going to one shot my opponent. So what is your way around this Bandai Namco? Bandai Namco, tell me, what is your way around it? Is it going to scale with our power levels? You see what I'm saying? Like for somebody who's completed the game. Let's say instead of it starting at level five, it starts at level 100 or level 150. You're going to have to scale this. If these are your challenges for a level 25 mission, they're not going to be able to form a 30 hit combo. 
we're not going to be able to activate surge mode. We can do the beam clash. But the other stuff is not going to be attainable. You see what I'm saying? So it's almost as if they're making you start a brand new game. If they don't this, I'm sorry. If they don't level scale this, I turn my mic down, guys. If they don't level scale this, it's almost forcing you to start the game over from scratch, which would 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 go along with this right here. My bad. Which would go along with this when they tell you this can be accessed anytime during the player's game experience and will allow their newly acquired Super Saiyan God transformation during the main storyline. If they do not scale Weiss's training then you're basically going to be forced to have to start a new game in order to even complete Weiss's training. That, that's it in a nutshell, guys. That's, that's how that's going to have to work because how else can you explain to me how we're going to be able to do a 30-hit combo at level 25 and we level 250, including the level cap raise? You get what I'm saying? So, you know, and even this isn't really explained right. Extended length of combos until interrupted. Increased stun damage dealt. Increased damage dealt to stunned opponents. Like, is that what Weiss is able to do? Or is that what we're going to be able to do? You get what I'm saying? That's not very clear as well. I kept reading that. I was like, wow, extended length of combos until interrupted. Increased stun damage dealt. Increased increased damage dealt to stunned opponents like you get what i'm saying i don't know man but this right here is posing to be a big problem and, and it's a big problem that's ringing out through the game you have to do something about the level scaling of this game it is way too easy way too easy right now the game itself the base game was easy people blew through it didn't have any trouble doing it now like i said you're in a situation where you're possibly going to implement this and if you do at level 5 and 25 guys <coughs> like i said you're either gonna have to start the game over or they're gonna have to scale this because this is not gonna work makes me wonder what level beers is gonna be at makes me wonder and 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 then you look at the game right now and you can get a plethora of z or like z orbs are non-existent i mean as far as difficulty to get like it is so easy because anytime you reset a level the z orbs respawn so leveling up your character costs nothing it's it's this entire game is a walk in the park and it shouldn't be the hardest part of the game when i first played it was vegeta's training in the gravity room because when you went against vegeta nappa and raditz they gave you the business okay there was some interesting mechanics but android uh 18 and 19 no not 18 uh 19 and 20 dr jerome in the, in the white android with the energy mechanic as well as yakon <coughs> excuse me that was very interesting mechanics there that gave different elements to the fights we need to see more of that but this right here guys is the biggest issue to me you know i had an idea for this video i wanted to talk about episode two and I hinted at that. That's basically what it is. But the more that I sit here and think about this and look at this, the more I see a problem with this. And if we could present this to them early enough, maybe they could be changed or maybe they can give some clarification in this. Because what's going to end up happening, my theory is we're going to look at this and then we're going to go into the DLC with high expectations only to be let down like we was with the time machine. So, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, get excited. That's fine. But I would hold back on that level of expectation for this because looking at this is a big red flag to me. It has it's, it's just like the game. It has potential. But if they do this, if they do this the way that it looks on here, then no matter if you finish the game or not, it's going to start at level five and 25. And then you got these challenges. You are going to have to start the game all over. Either that, the only way that I can see them doing this is when you go into Weiss's training, it, it defaults your level back down to one. That's the only thing that I can see about that. But that, that I was going to say that doesn't make sense, but that could potentially make sense. 
So when you go to the additional content, because mind you, it's separate from the main game. So it's kind of like its own game in itself. So you could start Weezy's training and it resets your character to level one. But whenever you go into the main game mode, you're no longer level one. You're at the level that you were whenever you were in the story. But if that's the case, then what's the point of giving you experience points? Unless that's a under the cover kind of thing where they say, hey, Weezy's training is going to give you a ton of experience points. Yeah, but Weezy's training starts you at level one and you get a ton of experience points to level up in Weezy's training that doesn't benefit you in the main game. Because the only thing that you can take to the main game is the Super Saiyan God transformation and the skills that come along with it. So I'm, I'm really speculatory about this right now. Bandai Namco, this is what I talked about earlier whenever I said we need more transparency from you guys. Because looking at this on the surface, it doesn't look very good. I was excited about it yesterday. But after sitting down looking at it, am I still excited for it? Yeah, because I, I, I know what it could be. I'm excited for what it could be. It's just like coaching. You see those players, they got a ton of potential and it's exciting. It's like, wow, he has a lot of potential. But potential is nothing unless it's realized. And I don't know if this is going to be realized or not, because I, I, I have to look back at past things that we that, that was done with the game. Do not mess this up because you have the potential to do something great. We need transparency. We need some clarity. If you go into Weiss's training, are you going to be reset to level one? And then once you complete it, whatever you earn in it, you can take into the main game. That would make sense to me. I would be okay with that. If you would be okay with it, let me know down in the comment section down below. Otherwise, guys, you're going to be forced to start the game completely over in order to, to get the challenge rewards from Weiss's training. And that could be true as to why the completion reward is 10 of the super sacred waters. You get what I'm saying? Because maybe they understand that everybody's not going to be able to do this. So to reward them, we're going to give them this. However, the issue with that is you have completion is to want to complete it. I mean, it's there. I want to do that. You know what I'm saying? So what is really going on, Bandai Namco? What's going on? We need some clarity, man. We need some clarity. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.